Okay, so I thought it was about time I switched it up a bit. I've been using Exuma since I got the radios from 19 to 21, the latest now. So I'm, I'm going to show you IJV. There's been a lot of talk about this, the features and the gain being an improvement over Exuma. So let's go through a few of the features I like about the IJV mod. And at the end, we'll talk about the performance between the two, the gain and the overall features. So let's start in looking at the functions and features of it. So the first feature I like is direct access from the keypad to make changes without going into the menu. That's the biggest plus about this. So if you hold and press zero, you'll see the top channel, AM, SB, CW, which is like a Morse code, FM. So you can change it straight away from the keypad, no menu. This is the same as Exuma, your TX power, press and hold, six. See that changing from low, medium to high. This is where it changes. So five on here is for the wide band filter, the narrow band filter, narrow band minus and wide band plus. So it's real time adjustment as you're receiving the signal, which is which is great for this. And number nine is your frequency step, which you would normally have to go into the menu to use. So if you hold on nine, see frequency step is coming up and changing. And if you change your modulation here by pressing zero. Then the frequency step changes as well. So another feature is if you're in VFO with this and you're searching for your channels and you find one, instead of going into the menu and saving the channel to the next slot, you press and hold 4 that just goes straight into the next available memory. So that's really good. And if you want to go above 999 megahertz, so you go into one gigahertz, you need to go into a single screen mode, which is F2. And within this screen, you can still change between both channels you are monitoring. And you can go into VFO, and you can use all the rest of the function keys I just showed you within this. So you can change your modulation, bottom left hand corner, your TX power, see that change in, and your filters, wide, narrow. And you can also change your frequency steps, the change in there. Obviously, the frequency steps change, the increments change depending on what modulation, SB or AM or whatever you're on. So that changes. So to enter a frequency above 999 megahertz, you're going into gigahertz, you need to be in this single screen mode. And you basically just go into VFO, press and hold free. See there, if I want to go into one gigahertz. I'm now in that and you can obviously do your frequency step by nine, you can do your searches, you can frequency capture as well with this. So if we go out of this screen, you still got that function. So F4 and you can scan nearby transmitters or walkie-talkies to pick those up and exit out of that so yeah for me it's it's real-time adjustment and so much more this can do and it does it faster and easier than Exuma okay so this is also has an auto gain feature which works in SB and AM so 
if you've got a signal coming through or if you haven't you have to break the squelch by hitting function one and hold one in you'll see slow there m plus zero that's manual adjust and fast so fast and slow are automatic they're auto gain on each channel you're receiving and the manual you can adjust that by going up and down the up and down keys so it goes plus 10 to minus 86 so that's the AGC auto gain control with a manual function mixed in with it if you want to take over so if you wanted to get into the hidden menu, it's the same as Exuma firmware. Just hold the PTT and the function one button, switch it on. Then release the keys. Press menu. And you'll see you've got 69 options in that menu now instead of 56. go through I'll show you what they are that one's scrambler enabled f-lock you might want to use and they're your side buttons to change the functions of your side buttons obviously at 56 that's the normal menu so 57 is VFO which you can do by pressing the PTT and exit button and then switching it on that's recommended if you keep changing firmware to do a reset of the channels so something to keep in mind so if you want to turn the backlight on so it stays on constantly then menu 18 hit menu again and go through until you see on menu again then exit so now the backlight will be on constantly What you can also do is, if you're in channel mode, is that frequency, if I wanted to start scanning in VFO mode, if I hit F3, it goes straight to that frequency and you can carry on scanning from there. That's another feature. Okay, so putting the IJV against the Exuma, I can see a little bit of an improvement on the gain. I guess what they're talking about is the fact you can go in and you've got more filters to use, like on the wide band and narrow band, you've got your plus and minus. You haven't got that on the Exuma. You've got the auto gain function on this. You haven't with the Exuma. The one thing this doesn't have is the spectrum mod, but that's down to memory space. You can only pack so many features into these radios, I guess. So. Yeah, I can't really, you know, I do like the spectrum function on the Exuma radio, so I guess I'll keep on using the Exuma. As you can see there, they're both getting the signal at the same time. The Zoom has picked up a signal, IJV hasn't, and then it will be the other way around. IJV will pick up a signal, the Exuma won't. Yeah, it's been an interesting sort of test. Again, you can see Exuma is picking up an aircraft signal, IJV isn't. Both on the same antennas, squelch. Um, the filter's the same. They're on wideband standard. Could change the settings on the IJV, I guess, but yeah, to make it fair, I've just left them as they are. I think people were talking about on the lower frequencies, it does better than Exuma. I think it's all about how much you want to mess around with settings. Exuma just sort of out of the box use, I guess. Unless you go into the spectrum analyzer, then it's a little bit more in depth. 
But yeah, let me know what you think about the two, if you use an IJV or the latest Exuma. I'll leave a link down below to both firmwares and the tool for flashing.